You're about to see some videos for the installation of a generator interlock on the main service for a 200 amp service for a house. Um, what we have here is a setup so that we can connect a generator directly into the main power. Uh, we've got a uh, 50 amp input right here and uh, I am not an electrician and I don't recommend anybody work on any type of equipment like this without the proper knowledge or the proper equipment and especially working on a live circuit like I'm going to be doing I'm going to have the panel off and things exposed here that is not uh, it's not really the proper way to do things but uh, we were in a grid down situation and I happen to have a Quite a bit of experience with this and so um, I was able to complete it and fortunately I didn't kill myself. So if you don't have the necessary expertise in order to install this and work on electrical equipment, I certainly suggest that you find someone who does or do not attempt it yourself. Okay folks, today is September 5th and it's uh, six days after the hurricane Adelia hit we are still without power and I've been making modifications to our power uh, input from the grid here in order to hook up generators I had borrowed a generator from a friend of mine thank you James um, but it's just not got enough oomph to to carry any kind of a load other than the refrigerator and freezer so we've been using this generator runs good just doesn't have enough uh, just doesn't have enough uh, power to do what we need to do uh, running the refrigerator and the freezer was great but not much more than that anyway so uh, I'm gonna open up the, the electric box here this is the main feed as you can see from the meter this is a combo box where the breakers come in I've got the um, cover removed so you can see what we did here um, basically what happened and I, I don't have the interlock installed here yet it's supposed to arrive today but what you do basically you turn this switch off to make sure you don't first thing of all that disconnects you from the grid and make sure you don't uh, electrocute any lineman that's out there working on uh, the power somewhere in the distant future or hopefully sooner I installed this breaker right here and this breaker I'll come back once I get the uh, interlock installed I'll come back and I'll show you how this works but uh, installed this breaker used some uh, number six wires coming out here and through the conduit back up over into this box where we've got a 50 amp plug that the generator plugs into now Speaking of generators, I plugged this generator in here so we wouldn't have to have this thing wired. I had it wired up with, I uh, had these wires coming off the pump because this is the pump for the well. And I had that wired out here hanging in the breeze for the last several days um, with wire nuts on it. And so I hooked that back up, hooked this in the way it should be done. Got the... Um, plug in here for a generator and now just this morning another friend of mine and co-worker loaned me his generator because his power was restored and uh, it's a Ryobi uh, 6500 running watts and 8100 starting watts so that's about uh, that's about 50% to two twice as much power as the original generator so I'm going to swap these out, start it up, hook it up, and I'll be right back. Well, I got the uh, two generators moved uh, into place, and wouldn't you know it, I thought for sure that the plugs were compatible, but you see how this, the little, this little prong points out. That's for a 20 amp circuit. This is bigger and is for a 30 amp circuit. And you see that little prong right there? 
I don't know if you can see it here, but it turns in. And that's a 30 amp circuit. So now, I gotta make another trip to go get another plug. <sighs> it's not one thing, it's another. My fault, I should have checked it. 30 minutes later. Okay, folks, I've got a complete collection now. I've got 50 amp, 30 amp, and 20 amp. Give me a couple minutes, I'll be right back. I've got to change this and put it on here, and then we'll be ready to start this thing up. All right, we've got the 30 amp plug on the end of our cable and we have got it hooked into the generator. One more thing I gotta do is to check the other end of this cable where the 50 amp connector is and where it's gonna plug into the uh, feeder for the house. And so um, just a couple seconds here, I'm gonna turn on the generator and uh, you probably can't hear what I'm going to say, but you can see that meter. And I'm going to test to make sure that I've got it wired right so that I don't blow up the house or catch something on fire. So, hang on just a second. Okay, I don't know how well you can hear me. got the generator running in the background. I'm going to do what I can to uh, measure this with one hand. Okay, the generator is on and refrigerator's working, freezer's working. What we got here in front of us is a portable air conditioner from LG. And I got this hooked up last night and the small generator that we had wouldn't run it. And so we're gonna turn it on here and see if this works. If it does, oh my gosh, that'll be so great until our real uh, generator arrives and we can hook it into the whole house. So uh, what we got going on here is um, this big tube is just a tube that fits into the window for the exhaust so the heat goes out there. And uh, we've got this hose kind of cobbled together here on the bottom with a bucket because uh, condensation comes out of air conditioning so it comes out the back, back here and then uh, we're, hopefully we're going to catch it in that bucket. So let's turn it on, see what we got. Oh man, nice, very nice. Oh man, that's, oh, oh that's so cool. That is, I mean, cool as in cold. Oh, excellent. Okay, we're halfway up and running. All right, now it's time to install the safety devices now that we got the suicide switch in there. Um, I ordered a, an interlock kit and it comes in this little pouch. Got some instructions here. Here's the actual interlock. We've got some uh, warning stickers and caution stickers. This is going to be mounted on the uh, panel and it goes right here to interlock. Uh, it goes right here in order to interlock. Uh, to make sure that you can't turn on the breaker for the generator and have the main power on at the same time and blow something up. I noticed that this doesn't slide and in fact the people who put it together put it together upside down and so first of all I have to take that apart and then um, 
turn it back around the correct way. Then we'll mark the holes in here where it's going to go. And this gets mounted on here, and then it will slide up and down. Back in a few. All right. I've just got this sitting on here right now. Um, haven't fastened it, but uh, I changed the the plate that's back here. I put it on correctly so this thing will actually slide so you can get an idea of what it's supposed to be like. In uh, grid, when you're on the grid, it, this is the position it will be in and the the uh, power breaker that is right up here, the main breaker will be turned, pushed that way which is in the on position. The breaker that is right here which is the generator feed will be in the off position over here. So in order to activate the generator what has to happen is the main breaker has to be turned off which it'll slide over to about this position then this slides up and releases the breaker down here to be turned on this also protects from turning the main breaker back on while this generator input breaker is engaged so I'm going to, um, now that I've got this kind of laid out, I'm going to take it out and fit it on the, on the panel just to make sure that everything lines up just right, then drill the holes and mount it. I've got to take out two more of these uh, spaces here because um, originally this was the breaker for the, um, for the well, and I moved it down to this slot and I put the generator input up here so we could use the interlock. I mentioned that I've got to take out a couple more spaces on the panel and so I thought I would uh, show you how that's accomplished and so basically you um, basically pick uh, I'm working here on the kitchen table uh, inside the house because it's a lot cooler in here than it is outside anyway you uh, put a pair of pliers inside here um, um, and grab onto it and you just twist it a couple of times a few times and it comes out there we go now we're ready to go and fit this into the breaker box outside and uh, eyeball it for the setup for the interlock. All right, we're back inside the house because I wanted to uh, confirm something on the instructions. You see how the instructions say to set up the uh, the flat piece, uh, the, the piece that goes underneath the interlock to line it up right here on the edge of these breakers. When I went out into the box and I dry fit it I found that you're better off to line it up with this side of the panel instead of that side on the right side and the reason why is because I, I think the the issue is this is wider here in this space than it is in the pictures. See how like narrow this is? And the actual device is actually a little bit wider. And um, if you didn't do that, you wouldn't be, you may not even be able to turn the breaker off because um, there's not enough play in there to, uh, if, if this is set over to this side, it may not be enough to let this drop so you can turn so you can turn the main power breaker back on so at any rate uh, be careful with that if you're going to use this particular interlock and um, now I'm going to go and install this in the box on the outside uh, go back outside and um, we'll show you how it fits
thinking the power might be restored and so I've shut off the generator we're back outside and we're gonna go through the switch back to the grid power so we switch off the input for the generator and you saw that piece of metal fall into place here that will allow the main power to go back on let me do that again And see it prevents from turning on grid power and generator power at the same time oh, man that is tough okay grid is connected let's go back in and see if it powers up this is just about all you need to know that the power is turned back on 